What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how I arrange my beats in Ableton. So I have all of my clips lined up. And you don't necessarily have to have your clips lined up, as you can drag them in whenever you want. But this is what the beat sounds like, and this is what we're going to arrange. Alright, so in order to get this all into arrangement view as we're in session view right now, I'm going to select this first clip. I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm going to click on the last clip and they should all be highlighted, I'm not holding anything down right now. I'm then going to click on one of them and drag it away and you'll see something like this. I'm going to hit tab while I'm holding down. And I'm going to drag these into arrangement view. This is arrangement view. That's what we're looking at right now. And I'm going to drop it at the beginning. All right, let's go ahead and close the browser. Then I'm going to hit this little red button up here. If I don't hit this red button, all of this will be grayed out. And I don't want to grayed out. So let's click this red button. And now we can see full color. Now, anything that isn't the same length loop wise or is too short, I'm going to make it even to the others. And then I can select both of these again by holding shift. And I'm going to hit command J to consolidate those clips. Let's do that again here for this snare. Command J. All right, cool. Now I can hit H to have the height um, go down to the to match the DAW basically. So if I'm zoomed in a lot like this, I can just hit H to reset everything and I can hit W to do that with the width as well. But let's actually zoom out a bit uh, with plus and minus. I get my shortcuts mixed up sometimes because I use three different DAWs. Let's select all of these again, select the top one. I'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard, select the bottom one and then command D to keep duplicating it. I'm holding down command and I'm hitting D to duplicate it. All right, I don't want it that many times. Let's go for an intro about two of these boxes, a verse that's about, I don't know, let's see how long this, this goes. Right, let's uh, have our verse about maybe four of these and a hook four. So we'll leave this for the intro. We'll do about that for the verse and let's do that for a hook. All right. So um, basically my intro is going to be... about four bars, then I want my verse 12 bars and my hook eight bars. So I start removing sounds for the intro. I don't want any drums in my intro and you can arrange however you would like. Just get rid of the drums and let's see what this sounds like. Let's do it like that. And then let's drop both of these when the verse drops. And then we'll bring in the grand piano. And the speed isn't mixed or anything. bringing this sound. Let's go ahead and cut this off for a second. We'll cut that off that entire part. Now we're getting into where I wanted my hook. So let's get rid of some drums. I want to have it silent for a little bit. Not silent, but uh, free of drums at the beginning of it. So. Let's keep the, the 808 actually. So our 808 is right here. A 
let's go ahead and add the kick in. And then everything all together. And then we can duplicate this. So we have one more verse and another hook after that and our song is at about three minutes. So let's add an outro. And this would be our outro. All right, that's what I want to be my outro. Let's go ahead and add a fade out. So this is the master. If we hit A, we can access the automation. Gonna create a point right here and a second point here and drag this down. And now we have a master fade in our volume. And that's how you arrange a track in Ableton that you created in session or clip view. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and you can even send me a friend request on Facebook. Just let me know that you are an Ableton user or a Reason user or a music maker, whatever you may be.